The double dead end three-way is a mostly unknown method for wiring three-way switches. It's often used when converting lights controlled by one single pole switch over to two three-way switches. The concept is very simple. It's safe and it works perfectly. Today, I'm gonna to show you how they're wired and how they work. Before we begin, I think it's important to understand how a dead end three-way is wired. So we'll look at one of those first. Let's go to the whiteboard. Here we have our power source, our two three-way switches, our light box, and our light. We'll take a 14-2 from our 15 amp power source down to switch one. We'll also take a 14-2 from our light box down to switch one. Then a 14-3 will run between our two switches. I'm going to use a blue marker for our white wire since this is a whiteboard. So remember, blue equals white. Our black hot wire will connect to the black common screw on our first three-way switch. We'll take a red traveler and run between the gold screw on three-way switch one and the gold screw on three-way switch two. Then we'll run a white traveler between the other gold screw on three-way switch one over to three-way switch two. We'll have to re-identify our white since it's not being used as a neutral. Black tape is a code compliant method for doing this. Now we have to get our switch power called the switch leg from our second three-way switch back to our first three-way switch box and then up to the light. For this, we'll use the black wire in our 14-3 cable. We'll connect it to the black common screw on three-way switch two and we'll carry that over to three-way switch one box where it'll connect with a wire nut and then go up to our light box. That'll connect with a wire nut and connect to our light. Our neutral wire from the feed and the one coming down from our light box will also connect with a wire nut in switch box number one and then connect again with a wire nut up to our light fixture. And I'm not drawing in our grounds, but we'd also have a ground at each switch box and our light as well. So that's it, our wiring is done. Let me show you how it works. Let's say our two switches are both in the up position. Our power comes in from our power source, goes into switch one, across switch one, across the red traveler to switch two, across switch two, and then up on the common, back to our switch box where it connects with a wire nut up to the light. The neutral completes the circuit, so our light is on. So if we move either one of these switches to the other position, let's say we move this one down. Now our power comes in across switch one, across the white traveler over to switch two, and there's no place for it to go. So now our light is off. This is called the dead end three-way because over at switch two, we only have switch power with no neutral. So the circuit is dead ended and cannot carry on. So what the heck is a double dead end three-way? Where does the power come from? And how do we get to the light with two dead ends? We'll get into all that in just a minute, but first I need to have some lunch. Today, I'll be eating a meal supplied by Factor the sponsor of today's video. Yesterday, I had sun-dried tomato and spinach fusilli, and it was delicious. Today, I'm going to try the cheesy ground beef and cabbage with chili garlic green beans and red bell peppers. If you don't know what Factor is, here's the deal. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easy by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Every meal is chef crafted and ready to eat in just two minutes. And with a menu of over 35 meal options and over 60 add-ons, you'll always have something new to try out. Factor also offers loads of snack options like breakfast smoothies, juices, small bites, and more to keep me going all day long. Most days I end up skipping lunch, or worse, I end up eating fast food. Factor meals are cheaper, more delicious and restaurant quality. They also feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, or blackened salmon. And they're ready to eat in just two minutes, which saves me a lot of time. 
Head over to Factor.com or click the link below and use code BACKYARDMAIN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month orders. That's code BACKYARDMAIN50 at Factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month orders. Okay, let's get back to the double dead end three-way. Like before, we have our power source, our two three-way switches, our light box, and our light. This time, our 14-2 from our power source runs to the light box rather than down to the switch. Then we run a 14-3 from our light box down to our first three-way switch, and another 14-3 from our light box down to our second three-way switch. And of course, our wires to the light connect in the box. And remember in this example, we're using blue again for our white because we're working on a whiteboard. Now we need to make our connections. Our black feed wire will connect to the black wire down to our first three-way switch. We'll make that connection with a wire nut. Down at the three-way switch, that wire will connect to the black common screw. The red wire down to three-way switch one and the other one down to three-way switch two will connect together in the light box with a wire nut. Then down at three-way switch number one, it'll connect to one of the gold traveler screws and the same thing to one of the gold traveler screws on three-way switch number two. Next, our white wire going down the three-way switch number one will connect to our white wire going down the three-way switch number two. Those will wire nut together in the box. And down at three-way switch two, it'll connect to the gold traveler screw. And at three-way switch number one, also connect to the gold traveler screw. Our black wire down the three-way switch number two will connect to our light with a wire nut. And the other end will connect to the black common screw on three-way switch number two. And then we need to connect our neutral from the feed to the neutral to our light. Now again, we're using a white wire as something other than a neutral, so that will have to be re-identified at both of our switches and also on both sides of the wire nut in the box. And of course our ground wire will connect to every location as well. Okay, let me show you how this works. Let's say that both of our three-way switches are in the up position. Our power comes in from the source to our light box where it connects to the black wire down to three-way switch number one across three-way switch number one to our red traveler wire which goes back up to the light box and then back down to three-way switch number two across three-way switch number two to our switch leg wire which goes back up and connects to our light our neutral completes the circuit so our light will be on now if we moved one of our switches to the down position our circuit would break and our light would turn off Pretty simple, right? This is what I call the double dead end three-way because this time it leaves both switches with switched power and no neutral so the circuit cannot continue on. This method is no longer code compliant for new construction because of a code change that requires a neutral conductor in at least one of your three-way or four-way switch locations. And with open walls, it wouldn't make sense anyway. But if you have lights that are controlled from a single pole switch from a single location, and you'd like to add a second switch location, this might be your best option. There are a couple of other non-standard methods for wiring three-way switches, and I've made videos about those in the past as well. I'll link the Chicago three-way method right here and the California three-way right below that, in case you wanna watch one of those videos next. I'd like to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. I'll see you on the next one.